Chrysalis. Buried in a kitchen corner, an apt lair for a lioness. Steaming espresso macchiato in one hand, penned in another. I start the day in contemplation with blue and white tiles as backdrop. Writing on remnants of the unwanted, the wanted, the reasons I return. Passion Sunday, furtively, I watch him wipe blood from tracks on his arm before I leave for Palm Sunday Mass. He swore he didn't, only Pat, which he grows in a closet. Still, leave wasn't going to be easy. We were engaged. I finally got someone I had wanted, but the desire was dated. Ten years ago, he was a hot musician in demand by bands and a slew of gals. Now he's a trust fund baby in night school, and I'm a half-orphan child woman coming to terms with loss, family, writing. I want to jump off this cross. Oh, good Soundtrack to my mother's life. She loved to croon, especially when sad. Smile, whose music Charlie Chaplin wrote, remained an all-time favorite. Another personal hit, My Funny Valentine, I found sad until I discovered jazz and Chet Baker. She deserved a better shot at love, but she romanced life, found beauty everywhere. The shadow of your smile, so appropriate, as her smile sparkled. It follows me everywhere. And I'm going to end with healing poetry. At the indie bookstore's open mic, we sit round a table. Outside it's March Madness. Villanova fans swarm the Pikes bars. A college student and her mother join us late. The plain girl with long, thin hair, sports glasses, and an awkwardness. She reads of a stuffed animal who served as best friend. The loneliness that could have choked her. Touches on a learning disability and bullies. I was uplifted by grace that emerged and stark, powerful poetry. Writing that clearly saved her life. Wow.